after a really quick briefing, we will get into this thing. But if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that the last couple of years of my life have been all over the place. And it's just been crazy. Every time we think we're getting ahead, there's a speed bump or a roadblock. Unfortunately, you guys know I had an accident. I broke my arm and it's just been the worst timing ever. And I had to make a terrible decision that I didn't want to have to make. You guys probably already know where I'm going with this. I had to sell the WRX. Now, before you panic and you're like, oh, this guy's never going to own a Subaru again, there will be another Subaru on the channel, guaranteed. I already know what I want to do for my next Subaru, and it's going to be a really fun project that I have not seen yet. Um, I have seen it before, but nobody's made videos on it. So I don't want to give too many details, but it's going to be a blast. So stick around it might be a year till i'm able to do it but in the meantime i'll be filming some videos with this thing and i will be filming some other subaru videos um, but i won't have a physical subaru for a little while i'm just trying to get caught back up so what i ended up having to do was sell my wrx and i decided that i was going to use half the money to buy another vehicle and use the other half of the money to pay bills because as you know even with my health insurance, breaking a bone is expensive when you need surgery. So I've got all kinds of medical bills now and on top of everything else that was going on in my life, it was just icing on the cake. So I had to make a sacrifice and that is what this video is. But I ended up getting kind of lucky because I accidentally bought a sleeper. Yes, this thing is a sleeper. And I've never been one to talk highly of Volkswagen or any kind of German cars. I've always been a JDM guy. Well, uh, I owned a 2002 Volkswagen Jetta that made it to 225,000 miles um, before I got rid of it. And it was running when I got rid of it. So I was like, you know what? I'll take a chance. I'll buy a Volkswagen. So I ended up using half of the money from selling my WRX to buy this. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're a Volkswagen guy, well, welcome. I'm a big Subaru guy and I'm learning about these every day. But this is my 2015 Volkswagen Golf TSI. Now, if you don't know Volkswagen's TSI isn't a GTI, it's not a Golf R, it's nothing fancy. It is a 1.8 liter uh, turbocharged engine that makes 140 horsepower stock, I think. But this thing here is a total sleeper. So when I was initially looking for a vehicle, I wasn't intending on anything like this. I was looking for like a GLI Jetta or something. I was like, hey, you know what? I would like to have another manual. Let me check it out. So I went to check out the car and let me show you this. So after a few weeks of dealing with ignorant people on Facebook Marketplace, I finally found this 2015 Volkswagen Golf TSI. The only thing listed in the description, the mileage and the price. And I set up a time and date, went and looked at it, and it was actually at a dealership. So I got there, I gave the car once over, and I took it for a test drive. So when I first got to the dealership, I wasn't looking for anything specific. I was just kind of looking at the car, and I just gave it a once over, popped the hood, checked everything out, and I went on my merry way. So during the test drive, I realized everything felt pretty good. The car was smooth, it shifted properly, and everything was pretty much good to go. I wanted to get back to the dealership and take a closer look. But once I returned to the dealership to take a closer look at the car, it actually showed me a different story. See, the car was super quiet. So I just came around, looked at the back of the car, factory exhaust, everything's good there. We got some good tires on here. Everything looks good. And don't be fooled, that window tint wasn't even there when I looked at the car. I installed it the day after I bought it, but something seemed off about that front caliper. Up front, we have a StopTech upgraded front caliper four piston caliper and I was like that's not factory so I took a closer look we have slotted rotors and we have some small spacers I'm guessing to clear the brakes and we have a matching small spacer in the rear to poke out the tire to match this one the interior of this thing was also very clean and very unsuspecting so I came in here to pop the hood so once I popped the hood the second time, I noticed something that I didn't initially notice on the first go around, which was the agency power intake. This thing kind of blended in. The first time I popped the hood, I just quickly glanced over everything, checked the oil just to make sure it was good for the test drive, and that was that. But upon further inspection, I was like, that is not a stock intake. It will almost fool you. It blends in with everything, but that is an aftermarket intake. And then the second thing I noticed was that this silicone coupler didn't look factory. Something looked a little off about it. So I was like, well, that's a silicone coupler. It looks aftermarket. It's got to be some kind of intercooler piping or something. Let me see. And upon further inspection, you're not going to be able to see it too well outside here. 
but there is an APR front mount intercooler. There you can see just a glimpse of it. And on these cars, it's not super noticeable because it's sandwiched in between this radiator and the AC condenser in the front. So you're never actually seeing the front mount intercooler. But if you look right there, you can see the welds on that APR front mount intercooler, and it is quite a bit larger than the factory one. Then as I'm going around the back side of the car to look at the turbo, I noticed something right away. A giant three inch APR downpipe. At the dealership, I assumed it was a stock turbo just because it's still got the heat shields and stuff on it. And I just ended up buying the car and I left with it. Mind you, the dealership really didn't have any clue what was going on with this car. And I ended up getting home and determined that that is the GTI turbo. And so I'm pretty sure this car comes factory, the 1.8 liter with an IS-12, and that is an IS-20 upgraded uh, turbo from the GTI. Now, I'm not sure how much power this car is making, but it feels really good, and I would guess around 300 wheel horsepower. My WRX was making 338 at the wheels, my last WRX, and it feels relatively the same as that car, um, except it does spin the wheels off the front of the car all the way into third gear. So that is one bad thing. Um, being front wheel drive, but once you are like in second and you have grip, it pulls really hard. It's got to be at least 300 wheel, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it is right, right there. Um, so not stupid fast, but for a car this unsuspecting, looks like a completely stock Volkswagen, and then it makes 300 horsepower or more or less or whatever, but it feels really good. It feels like it's around that 300 wheel horsepower mark. That is a big jump. So the next thing I did was lift up this engine cover where I found some APR coils, which is very nice to see. These people built this car really well. A lot of people wouldn't even bother with something like that. They would just slap a downpipe and an intake on it and call it a day. So it is nice to see that. I'm assuming they have like a, a step colder plug or something in there. I'm not sure if this has the same plugs as the GTI. So maybe they put GTI plugs in it, um, but the APR coils are nice. Another thing I'm going to assume, I don't know for certain, but I'm going to assume we have a flash ECU. I'm guessing there's like an APR tune or something on there. I'm hoping, because if not, this car is gonna blow up before I ever have the chance to enjoy it. But um, with these cars, I think a lot of people use APR and do full flashes using VAGCOM and stuff. I highly doubt they did some kind of like JB4 or something with the mods that's done to this car. So whatever tune is on the car, I imagine it's still on there because if it wasn't, the car would be very unhappy and it would probably be running very rough, but the car is very happy. It's running really smooth, really strong. Everything seems good. So one other mod that I have to just assume is the clutch. I can't see it, but uh, it's, it's a very stiff clutch pedal and I get a little bit of chatter and a little bit of whine from the transmission inside the car. It's very faint, but you can hear it. It's very mellow, it's not bad at all, and it's gotta be an upgraded clutch, as stiff as it is. Just a few honorable mentions, there is an aftermarket rear sway bar on the car, and the car is on some upgraded Coney struts all around. Um, so the suspension is really nice, and everything feels good, um, but yeah guys, that's it. I mean, it's a pretty solid car. But to be quite honest with you, I really like this car so far. I'm happy with it up until this point, and hopefully I continue to be happy with it and everything continues to go smoothly with it. If you guys wanna help support the channel, you can subscribe, like, or talk at me in the comments, or you can buy some merch in the link in the description. But that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.